what's going on podcast listeners uh this is ned coming in at the beginning and start doing this for every podcast uh we did an amazing episode with uh the infamous butt juice soup go follow him on twitter and on twitch if he ever gets back into streaming because he's a super good dude in this talk we talk a lot about uh burnout with content creation uh his journey through through that burnout we kind of get you know lost in the weeds a little bit but that's kind of what this show is right we're just having a conversation we're just talking right uh so definitely go check him out his twitter is on on point uh go give him a follow uh we do stream every day except for friday on twitch.tv slash tv go give that a follow come check us out we do play a lot of valorant and then mix it up with a couple of other games here and there and go follow if you haven't already if you're watching this on youtube don't forget to sub up at the top right corner hit the notification bell to see when we post new stuff we have some big stuff coming your way on the channel itself new podcast every thursday go get a listen now let's jump into the episode Welcome back to this episode of the Creator Sit Down. I have probably one of the best names on any social media platform, Mr. Butt Juice Soup. How are you doing today, buddy? You're too kind to me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I'm I'm happy you're here as well. Honestly, like I've been following you on Twitter oh. for a bit and see your stuff pretty much everywhere, even when I wasn't following you. And and that name, every time I looked at it, I was like, damn, that's a really good name. That's a really good name. That, it that, sticks in your head. It does. You'll, ne- you'll never forget it. I'm telling the wife, I'm like, hey, I got a really cool interview today. She's like, who, who are you talking about? Bud Juice Soup. She's like, huh? It's, it's the famous Bud Juice Soup. <laughs> exactly. Twitter's own Bud Juice Soup. <laughs> there it is. There it is. You gotta, you gotta put some glisten on it. She's like, who are you interviewing? You're like, Bud Juice Soup. She's like, who? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the famous Bud exactly. Juice Soup. <laughs> So for those who don't know who you are, uh, TLDR, who is the famous Butt Juice Soup? Who is the famous Butt Juice Soup? He is um, a rebel, uh, shenanigan. No, he's um, I was a, I was a streamer. <laughs> I, <laughs> we watched uh, episodes of we watched food more or less. Um, There's some good looking food, too. Games. Yeah, it was good food. Um, I, we watch food. We play games. Um, I'm known primarily more on Twitter for my tweets, my adventures with my wife, um, just little stuff like that. Um, I'm currently uh, not streaming anymore. I, I caught a bad case of the burnouts, mm-hmm. and I'm uh, just kind of trying to regather my head a little bit. I feel that. And, and are you do, like, are you still doing YouTube content or where else is there just twitter you know i started doing daily youtube content and i was like this i'm burnt out none of this is good (laughs) i don't know like i promised i was like let's do daily youtube content and then i was making it and i was like this is uninspired and horrible i hate this i hate that i'm forcing myself to do this i'm like Mm -hmm. didn't i tell myself when i left twitter i was gonna when i left twitch i was gonna stop making content and give myself time to rest i'm like why am i spending the time i'm resting like frantically doing more yeah exactly. i think the, the fact is when we're on twitch we're so geared to like make more content because you're like eventually if i just keep throwing things at the wall eventually something's gonna stick exactly I'll become big and famous or or not even that people are gonna come to my community or this and that and it's that mindset that eventually just grinds you to a nub. Mm-hmm. No, I mean, I, I, if I'm lying, I'm dying. I mean, anybody who's been a part of my community, they, I've been there. It's super easy to get there, yeah. right? Especially when you're when you're hustling day after day, trying to like, it's like throwing shit at the wall and seeing what sticks, right? And then if none of it's sticking, you go, well, why the hell am I doing this? And and, and the easiest way to get there is to not even think about it. <laughs> is just to make content every single day not thinking about it yep. until you're sitting at your desk being like thinking of content <laughs> you know imagine you're thinking like, of content what, would it be? what if i smeared peanut butter all over my face that would be funny content and it's like you know this isn't funny this is just like sad desperation <laughs> god i took a bath in pepsi when I uh, it did. That sounds like every open wound on your body is just screaming. And that I think kind of was like the so like that's where I kind of hit the first like major like oh god like what the hell am I doing here? 
it, it was fun don't yeah. get me wrong it's all what you make it but i'm sitting in this bathtub that's like not even full of pepsi because i couldn't find a bathtub stopper and i'm like i did this for 100 subs which is like what 250 bucks like it, it, it feels weird to put that into cash terms but on the same token you're like huh is this worth it is this worth debasing you know, myself <laughs> It's not even debasing. It's just like it's you can. E, there are some things you do on streaming that you just know reeks of desperation. Like, mm-hmm. I, OK, when I was a small streamer, I had like I wasn't even affiliate yet. I was like 30. I was a 30 follow streamer. I had like three or four people watching me and this guy came in. And I saw he had like 300 followers. So I was like, oh, like he hit the big time. <laughs> so I was like, um, I know. Um, and a small streamer. So he was like, hey, man, you should uh, you should bring your wife on for a wife reveal. And my wife has always told me I don't want to be on camera. I want like you do your stream and I'll support you. But I just don't want to be on camera. I was like, nope. no, no, I don't really want to do that. Or he's like, hey, you should, you know, do you have marshmallow fluff? You should cover your hands in marshmallow fluff and play video games on it. And I was kind of like, listen, man, like, I don't know what kind of stream you think this is, but I'm just kind of here to chill and play games. And then you get that first little hit of clout where it's like people kind of recognize what game like like they kind of realize what kind of content you are, how mm-hmm. your voice is different from the rest of everyone else's voice. And then you start kind of gaining a little bit and then you start to see a dip. And then that's when you start to have those thoughts where it's yep. like, cover my hands in marshmallow. You start to get away from the way you were when you first started streaming because you see that little bit of success, you know? Oh, no, totally. So I guess we need to go back a little bit. Why did you first come to Twitch? I first came to Twitch because I was unemployed and bored and not feeling the greatest about myself. My wife wanted me. My dad was a businessman. Mm -hmm. So my wife was like, I just want you to build something, build something that you could be proud of. So I said, okay, so I started a stream. Mm -hmm. I worked every single day and I built up the stream, ended up getting a job. I had to basically restart from scratch because (laughs) my old stream was uh, nine to five. My new stream was like 10 o'clock at night. So all of the people that watched me nine to five no longer watch. So I had to rebuild the entire thing from scratch. Oh, totally. um, It's, you know, I was able to kind of, you know, I went through that first time. I started streaming with just an Xbox and a Kinect. Really? And I was able to kind of, yeah, build somewhat of a following through that. How did you I didn't get my PC until early 2020, I think. Really? How did so and how long were you streaming for? I was streaming for about a year on, until I got my first PC. On just so how did so I mean, I, so that's like was my first taste and I never really stuck with it. I probably did my first stream back when I started the Twitch account, right? Which was like 2016, 2017, something like that. I don't fully remember at this point. And it was like, oh, I could see why this is entertaining, but I also don't understand Twitch. I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, how did you manage to grow on the Xbox platform? Because interesting enough, in the last episode, Jax, that's where he started too, was streaming my or was streaming games on the the on the Xbox. And he would always appear in the back when the UI had the top streamers on Twitch who are playing this game currently at the bottom that's where he started seeing a lot of growth from is when he would show up on that and so he would like wait for the games with gold to pop and then instantly download and start playing that and then wait for the numbers to come in i never even would have thought about that back in the day so like how did you manage to grow on the console market itself i had a very bombastic personality Mm -hmm. i would you know scream and and have fun and be all gesture and then afterwards after every single game i would plug the stream so from that you know usually everyone's like oh go away screw yourself <laughs> but some people actually stayed and it was from that i was able to build up um my 50 follows to affiliate yeah okay that makes sense it took me like a month it took me a month to do that so okay that's always but, like the question too right is how long did it take you to get to that affiliate mark which i think it took, it me-, took me a month to get to affiliate um It took me, you know, I didn't really start gaining any sort of traction Mm -hmm. until New Year's of 2018. I, you know, my wife's like, what's your New Year's resolution? (laughs) And I didn't really have one. But my thought was like, 
my new year's resolution is to do better on social media Mm -hmm. and to, because I was like, I think I was maxing out at like seven views. Yeah. Like it was, it wasn't, it wasn't big, but I was like, okay, I'm going to start getting to know social media platforms and building on them. Yeah. So when I started, I started my Twitter with 48 followers from just posting selfies. I would, do, you know, I do the st- the support small streamers, you know, we all did of deal. And I, and I would, um, what's it called? Post selfies. But it wasn't until I started kind of learning from other people's Facebook posts mm-hmm. that I start I'm mean, not Facebook. I'm sorry. Uh, Twitter, Twitter, uh, Twitter posts that I started kind of building my own voice, building things. And it was like one or two uh, tweets kind of hit a little bit. They mm-hmm. became, there, there's no real going viral in, in the Twitch world. Yeah, that's true. But there is like Twitch viral. Yep. Like there's, there's a certain place you can, usually if you're a small streamer and you get something that really connects with people, you can kind of hit like 10,000 likes with it. Yeah. But then most things that kind of go like streamer Twitter viral are kind of like you'll go two to 5,000. Yeah. So I hit one that got like a thousand. And then from there, I was able to build off that. I was able to kind of cement my voice on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And then since then, I've just built upon solidifying my voice. And that's why when you say, when you see a tweet from me, you're like, oh, that's funny. That's a butt you soup tweet. It's nope. not like, you know, it's not like a generic tweet that anyone can make. It's one that specifically you like specifically has my voice in it, you know? No, totally. I, and that's that's honestly something super. Every, it feels like everybody is trying to do something on social media, but nobody seems to know what to do. Right. Like everybody's just kind of like throwing shit at the wind, trying to mimic other people and don't really ever find their voice. I admittedly, I haven't either. <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. That's probably one of the it's 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 hard for me to craft it. Like, how long does it take you to actually do like a solid good fucking tweet? Because like I'll sit there for hours trying to think and just be like uh, nothing. Oh, the moment you start thinking, you lost. All right, that makes that that's makes sense. The biggest thing with streaming and tweeting: the moment you think what's going to be a funny tweet, you've already lost because anything you write is going to look desperate and thirsty. So you have to get a good idea for it and it has to be your idea, your words. And you just have to vomit it and then send it and then be done with it. Gotcha. Because eventually people are going to start to seek your voice. Yeah. So like one thing that I found people really like about me is my tweets with me and my wife's banter. Mm -hmm. It's me and my wife's banter is basically ripped from our marriage and just vomited onto, onto Twitter. (laughs) Okay. And people are like, I connect with this, and then they connect with it because it's just the way we are. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a more yeah, it's human voice. No, that makes that actually yeah. makes a shit ton of sense. Okay, that's a more question for me because like I'm I'm trying to figure all that stuff out now. Just trying to get trying to uh, kind of move more away from just the t- streaming. It's funny to watch people that just think, oh, I just need to stream all the time on Twitch, and I'll grow. You're just streaming more hours to a smaller average. Exactly. It's like, yeah, hours will not get you the notoriety. The, the, the social, it's hard to physically drag people from social media to like Twitch Mm -hmm. because you'll see both. You'll see someone with a hundred thousand followers that is still an affiliate Yep. or you'll see someone on Twitch that, you know, that streams to like 200 people and they only have like, a thousand Twitter followers. Yeah. That's like, and then I'm going to put on the marketing hat for a minute. It's hard to drag that endemic user from one platform to another. So it's like, it's like it lives in two separate ecosystems. And I guess the goal is with that, right. And, and, and trying to manipulate both is to try to make that happen. And sometimes it works, but a lot of time it doesn't, which is bizarre to think. Right. But everybody wants to do it. You have with it is they see my Twitter content on their terms. Yeah. So they see my Twitter content when they want to see it. When it comes to my Twitch content, they have to be at a place and a time. Yep. It's a conditioning. It's like, you know, most people, they'll watch a stream. That's why they say consistency is key. Because let's say you before you go to bed, you watch me 
You watch butt juice soup every single night before you go to bed. Well, what happens if I take a week off? Yep. You have to find a new streamer. What if you like that new streamer better? Well, that's your new nightly routine. Yep. You watch that new streamer before you go to bed. I, I just so went through that. You, have to, you know, that's the consistency of it. But also, like, you're conditioning people to join you at a certain time. Yep. It was true. And that's the hardest thing. Do you think that that's healthy? <laughs> to have to to have to to have to be uh, so overtly consistent on Twitch that in order to continue to keep the traction going to become that nightly routine is that a healthy way to to operate? Streaming is streaming by nature is not a healthy thing to do <laughs> because it's it's really it's really not. Some people are you know I hear a lot of people that are like you know. If it weren't for, you know, if it weren't for streaming, I don't know what I would do. I use it instead of therapy, blah, blah, blah. First of all, never use streaming inside of therapy. No. Like if you, if you have, if you have a, like an issue and you know, you need to talk to someone, always go seek out someone. But also you need like the thing that streaming gives you is us just a straight slap of attention. Yep. That's what streaming gives you. That's what you want is you just want that hit of attention because that's what the people are doing. Yep. They're they're going online and they have a chat full of people that are talking to you. Yep. You know, when you say you know, you always hear people say my community. It's a community of people together in celebration of you. Now, eventually <laughs> it's going to start getting in your head cuz you're like, are they here for me? You know, are they here for my body? Are they here only for my skill? Are They're they always here for, here my, for your body. <laughs> they, a lot of people think that. Always, you know, I've, always. I've, I've had a lot of you know D streamers DM me and say, "Do like, do you only watch me because I'm attractive?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> oh, I just no, meant no, I watch no, you no, because actually, you're attractive. <laughs> I, some people, some people do that. You know, and then for some people, I'm like, you know, I had to ask the question, do you only watch me because I dance? I used to be a fully dance streamer. And then really? I stopped dancing because I got. Yeah, I danced all the time. <laughs> and then the moment I got sick of dancing, I stopped. People stopped coming. Really? So my thought process became they aren't here for me. They're here they for the dance here to watch a monkey in a zoo dance. <laughs> and I can't tell you how freaking awful that felt. Oh, I believe it. Because you just, you know, at that point, you might as well just be, you know, a dancing bear at a circus. Man, that's when you put it that way, you're just like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's oh. what streaming is. You're 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 a circus animal. I... <laughs> that what put all of that in a whole new light. <laughs> Shit, I guess I'm giving up this You're Twitch literally thing. Literally a dancing animal that people throw, you know, nickels at. And Man. I just, it got to a point where I was like, I can't, I dread streaming. I don't want to go in, turn on the camera, turn on the light and just talk. I'm just tired of it. Man, and how that's long? When, that's when I decided I had to walk away. So how long were you, sh like, how long were your average streams? You start. You, you uh, said you said early that you started at like what ten o'clock at night, right? I started. I my first streams were eight hours, and I did them five times a week. Oh God, that's exhausting. You're already thinking about <laughs> having yes, to having it was to very exhausting. How did you keep that up Sorry. though for especially a year? Barely. I I pl well, I didn't do anything special. I literally sat in a chair and played games. Gotcha. Like, I didn't I didn't do any dances. I didn't do any fun things like if you go back in my streaming history, you'll see me pretending to be a pirate. You know, the moment where you said you bathed in Pepsi and you were like, this is my rock bottom. Yep. <laughs> I got a cat cosplay and I rolled around on the floor like a cat. What? That was my, that, that. Yeah, that was my that was my rock bottom. How, how That's where I was like, why? Why? <laughs> Question. <laughs> Why would any human ever do that? Could it be attention? I mean, could it be that they thought this was going to be their big Twitter clip to fucking break Twitter? I mean, fair. You just, you think, you know, you're like, it's the same thing with bathing in Pepsi. You say, this is going to be the big moment I put on Twitter, and, uh, you know, everyone's going to be like, oh, crazy. And it's going to have articles written.
it. And then people are going to come into my stream and they're going to see that I'm much more than just a guy that bathes in Pepsi. And they're going to want to stay and I'll become partner. And then I'll, you know, and then I'll be a big streamer. And then none of that happens. People laugh for three seconds and then they move on. Move on to the next, move on to the next hit. It's fa- That's kind of why I started. Yeah, you're the dancing, you're the dancing circus bear, man. You did your dance. They enjoyed it. You got your nickels. Then they run. Do you think that that's the only way to grow anywhere now on the internet? It's just to be no, that to be that circus random. animal. It's just it's just random. Somebody will take a clip of your stream. They will post it. It will get a million likes. And then if you don't build off of that, that's that's on you. But yeah. like, there's there's a couple people that I think of, like um. Broix, Brohex, he's mm-hmm. the um, he's the uh, New Zealand uh, woodcarver. Yeah, did not expect any of that stuff to happen. Did not expect it. Just wanted to, just wanted to refund a sub. So you don't have to pay for this. Don't worry. Stratosphere. Yep. Gone. It's random. It's just, and it it can't be made by you. That's true. Like it just has to, it just, somebody has to see it. Somebody has to post it and it has to explode. Yep. You cannot hedge your bets. So in that and, same vein though, is there, is there, I mean, obviously there's probably good public, there's good publicity and bad publicity. Where does that distinction, do you think that there is a distinction or where does that lie? What you do with bad publicity? Do you remember, um, bad bunny Yep. when she was, um, when she told, yeah, when she was telling people about subs, Mm-hmm. It, it people would say that's bad publicity. She turned it into good publicity. True. She turned it into an av- more average viewer of her stream. You know, and then yep. there's um, I I know a bunch of people that had bad publicity stuff happen to them, and they were able to kind of grow off it. Yeah. You know, and then also there's good publicity people that you know get really good publicity and then don't do jack shit with it <laughs> <laughs> they don't they they don't do anything with it they get the best you know they either do a charity stream or they or they do like a really nice thing or they you know a bunch of stuff happens and then nothing zero mm-hmm. they just don't grow from it they just are forgotten that's in cr- two weeks internet's fickle man i i've been learning this over the last few years man the internet is just like you're there for one second and then poof you're gone the next, which is kind of what it's why I wanted to start doing things like this. Just honestly, for my own mm-hmm. sanity, that like I'm actually trying to maybe put something out there that might help somebody. And if somebody may listen to this and be like, fuck, I am burnout. I'm not. This is this is dumb. Why am I doing this? Right. Or, hey, these are these are helpful ways of trying to, you know, pivot and figure something else. out. It's honestly like the way that I've always tried to run things is just after the Pepsi bath, of course, is actually when I started being like, fuck, that was weird. Um, <laughs> fun, but weird. And like, okay, one of the, one of the signs that you're burnt out, I'll, I'll give you a couple signs. Cause I had let's hear them. signs where I was like, Oh, okay. Number one, one sign that you're burned out is you're trying to think of ideas for content and every single thing you think of the next thought is you just saying that's stupid. <laughs> because that's basically you it's your soul trying to tell you like you're trying yep you're trying really hard to to just pound this circle peg into this square hole yeah like it's not going to work now if you're just kind of chilling around and you just bing something happens in your head and you're like oh my god i should you know what if I, you know, what if I did this and then you do it on stream or you mm-hmm. just on stream and you do it and someone's like, oh, that was amazing. That was fantastic content. Like that's inspiration. Yeah. But when you're running around trying to be like, hmm, what can I do for content? That means you got nothing left. That means you're burnt out. Yep. I can see it. I don't think I've actually hit. I haven't hit that yet personally. I still, I still, I'm, I, it just, Once you feel yourself kind of getting there, slow down. Yep. Take a tuck, take, take a couple nights off. Oh, I did. You know, if you have kids or SOs or anything, spend time with them. Yep. Just do things that aren't streaming related because streaming is very isolating. You, you know, unless you're working directly with someone, you mm-hmm. try to just 
cocoon yourself in and say like I need to be the one to come up with the idea that's going to make me huge. Yep. You know, forgetting that so many people on the other side of the door are are inspiring you and and supporting you. Yep. And loving you and caring about <laughs> you. Giving a shit. Giving a shit, uh, you know, giving a shit about more than just your, you know. Okay, okay. <laughs> There's two people. Hang on. There's. Bye, oh, Sammy. I love you. Hello there. <laughs> Come here. Yes. Aw. It keeps her grounded, though. Oh, she's still cute. Hey, can you close it? Okay. Hang on. I got to close that. <laughs> Thank you. That's all good. Angel, let's chat it even better. Away. Thank you. That's adorable. That's, I say exactly. I might just leave that in just because. I mean, it's shit like that though too. That happens all the time. I mean, honestly, like editing. I hate. I fucking hate editing, dude. I hate editing. I, you know, I I studied editing in college, and I was an editor in New York City. I did corporate and um, music videos, the whole like. Really. And then halfway through, I was sitting at my desk. I was editing a commercial for Subway. And my boss was yelling at me. He was really rude. And I just started laughing. And he was like, while he was yelling at me, like, as he was telling me, this is terrible. This is awful. I just started laughing. <laughs> and he was like, what? And I was like, I, I hate this. Real? <laughs> I hate this so much. And he goes, then you can't work here. And I was like, okay, then I guess I'm leaving. <laughs> and I just, I got fired. Like, I just left. Damn. And I know I was just like I just hate doing this. I just hate it so much. He was like, "Then leave," and I was like, "Okay, okay, bye, bye." <laughs> Which... So I fucking left. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I was like twenty four. That's the best like, way, though. Yeah, honestly, I just fucking hated it. It was awful. <laughs> and then so I was unemployed then for like seven months. And then I got a job um, doing technical editing, not mm -hmm. like creative editing, technical editing. Yeah. And I've been doing technical editing ever since, and I, I like it so much more. Really? What, what's the, why do you like the technical editing side way more than the creative? Then why then more creative? Because my brain just don't think like that. I feel you. That makes sense. Just, you know, I just can't. I can't. Like, my brain does think like that, but like. It's kind of like someone who can hear violin music in their head, but has stupid small fingers. <laughs> yep. Like nope, you totally. know, you know what should it should look like and it should be, but like you just can't, you can't do it. The you moment can't you get it. it. Yeah, you can't get it. So technical editing is a lot better for me. And um, I mean, I've had a lot of jobs. I used to, um, I used to do. Uh, PA work. I currently do. Um, uh, what was it? I not only do I do technical editing, but I also do reality TV casting and development. Wait, what? Like I do. I've 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 made it very known that I do this stuff. <laughs> I, I cast and develop reality TV shows. Like what? We gotta talk now. Yeah. Like, come on. Like what? No. <laughs> we have to. Come on. You said wouldn't talk about things i'm uncomfortable with fair no, fair fair sorry what do you want to know like what reality shows just shows i can't tell you or else i'll tell you number one where i live number two where i work okay that's true okay fair i can i mean I've i didn't think about like, that <laughs> yeah you're not knowing where i live get out of here uh, i'm um, good <laughs> i've yeah um <laughs> I've done stuff for HGTV, DIY, Food Network, um, GAC, Great Outdoors, Discovery Channel, uh, National Geographic. Damn. Stuff like that. Okay. The more you know. Yeah. The more you know. The more you know. No, you get, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I'd much rather learn more about you and the man behind you. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I make reality TV shows. I do technical editing and support for a network. I um I was a streamer once. Um <laughs> I don't know. I just like 
Whatever you want to know, I'm here. Do you ever think you'll go back to Twitch? See, this is the funny thing. I was eating dinner and I was like, you know, I was talking with my wife. We were eating chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. Hell yeah, that's a life. She's 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 so one note and basic. (laughs) But but she goes, what are you going to do when he asks you if you're ever going to go back to Twitch? I'm like, I'm just I'm just going to answer honestly. And she goes, what's your honest answer? And I'm like, I guess I'll know when the answer when the question comes up, won't I? Um, Will I ever go back to Twitch? Answer right now. I don't know. That makes sense. I really don't. I'm I'm enjoying not streaming and you need to get to a point where you really feel the pain in your heart from not streaming. And but right now. I am truly, truly enjoying not streaming. It actually is kind of great, honestly. Like I just took a week off recently. To know that you don't like to know that you don't have to like shovel dinner in just so you can spend as much time as you can with your wife before stream. Yep. To yep. know that you can just watch a show or play a game all night. I finished a game for the first time in like years. What is that? I don't even know what that is anymore. I've n- I haven't finished a game. So- it's funny. I finished Ori and the Will of the Wisp. The last Fantastic. game I finished before that game was Ori and the Blind Forest. <laughs> like years ago, I'm. I got <laughs> almost all the way through. Um, I got almost all the way through Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah. Do you know how many hours you have to play of Assassin's Creed Odyssey to get through to it? I don't ton. play BRs anymore because they just hurt my soul. Good. I'm not alone then. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm not alone. Thank God. I just <laughs> like I was playing hype, Hyperscape today and I was like, why? You're playing on PC with an Xbox controller. How is this in- <laughs> pleasurable for you? It was when the Twitch drops were happening for that game. I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a code, and you know, maybe we'll maybe we'll take a look at this on stream or something like that." And then I got a code and I looked at it. And I'm like, "I fucking hate BRs. I'm never gonna play this. And if I do play it, I'm not going to enjoy it. So why am I even bothering?" <laughs> first game, first game I had, I went up against. Um, first game I had. I got it like I went to Seagull Stream, who is a pretty big streamer, but not like one of the biggest. So I knew I had a better chance of getting drops. Yeah. Like if you go to like sh- like Summit One G or Tim the Tap Man, you're not you're not getting a drop. Exactly. <laughs> There's just too many people in there. So I went to Seagull. I I was one of the first people to get a drop. Hell yeah. So I got a drop. I went into the game because I downloaded it as fast as I can because I was like, if I download this really fast. I'll get into games with the big streamers. And I was like, oh. and I'll be able to like play with the big streamers. First game I got into, I got into a game with XQC. Really? And I ended up in a situation where I had to basically fulfill the fantasy of every single seven year old in the world. And I had to, I had to 1v1 XQC. Wait, really? In a alone i i posted it on twitter and i almost beat him i was like that uh, close. and he got me and then he called me a pussy <laughs> 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 it was really really funny that's ama- that's literally amazing i know i was like okay this is actually really cool he was on a squad with it was him and tifu bro oh, sh- Fuck, dude. So if I would have beat him, I would have had to one v one Tifu after that. Oh man, that would have been which could have been. It would have been if I would have. Oh, God, I would have one v one both of them and beat both of them. That would have been the best Twitter clip I've I ever was gonna say, in dude. My entire life. Ugh, oh, man. But that's... it was. But I lost, and but it like it was cool. Like it is you cool. Know, everyone's like, oh, you're, were you trying to get clout from posting this? I didn't. T- anybody i was just like i don't want clout to me it's just really it's, freaking cool that's just dope exactly that's that's honestly like yeah, it was just like fun and that's and that's the sign that you're like doing something right on twitter too you're not chasing the clout but you could have tagged xqc and tifu easily could have it'd be like look i almost Probably. beat xqc but then like it would have been like oh that's just a grab you're you're just trying to trying to trying to get that twitter clout for for your stream even though you're not streaming anymore 
and <laughs> true, I'm just some guy. but it wouldn't matter i didn't want the class i just thought like it was so cool uh, that, that actually I thought it was cool. legit is a fucking really cool story and that's amazing hands down i know and at the very end while he was picking up my my guns and all my things he goes, oh, this guy and i was like yeah i'm this guy i'm that guy that's me <laughs> did you have the stream on while while you were in that game no Ugh. i turned the stream on afterwards i i had to look for the clip but i couldn't find it it was like a six hour stream i i spent like literally two hours trying to find the clip and i finally found it oh good Go, I, and when i did it was so cool <laughs> you're like that's it, it me made, it made me unreasonably happy no that's i, I dude that's that's i probably would be just as happy because <laughs> that's that's honestly that that's so that's cool. dope as hell so you're off of the streaming you're not doing youtube right which is which honestly I go through it some days and I'm like, man, that sounds so freeing. How great would it be just to play a video game again? Like we just talked about, how great would it be to finish yeah, a game? By yourself. <laughs> Not alone. Like, I don't have by to by yourself. I don't have to make jokes. I don't have to make it good. I don't I could I could not that it matters, but I can continuously die over and over again and nobody would be like, Oh, mega lol. And I'm like, oh now I feel terrible about myself. Twitch just being <laughs> able to like just I'm sorry, I keep it. No, you're good. Please do just being able to like be in a room in silence with you in a game i finished ori in the will of the wisp and i cried like a baby i don't blame I got you to fully enjoy the game by myself it's it's and my wife is like why are you crying hysterically <laughs> i'm like because it was a beautiful game and i you wasn't know? made fun of <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> not even made fun of i didn't have to perform exactly you're not you don't have to try to make like, it i'm just myself when i stream i don't perform everybody has to perform while you're streaming oh yeah in one way or another usually when you play video games you're just like but you have to sit up straight and you have to play games and you're like, oh, did you guys see that? I just, you know, ran into the enemy and now I'm dead. Would you say that if you were playing a game by yourself or would you just next stare, <laughs> just stare blankly at it? No, you're right. I mean, you're right. You're, I think that's always like because my normal stream. I go from 8 p.m. to basically whenever I'm, I'm like, I'm fucking done. And I'll even say I'm fucking done. I'm out, guys. I'm out. We're done. I get off and I'm just like, holy God, I'm tired of shit because it's just such an exertion of effort that you have to like, like, like we were saying earlier, it's honestly, it's like, you know, dance monkey, get kid entertaining me. Let's go or else I'm leaving. Yeah. And it's just like, you get done. You're just like, holy shit. This feels like we go on vacation. I just, I, I pass out because I just like, I'm just, I don't have to vacation. Uh, it's not because then I'm sitting there and I'm going, oh, no, what's going to happen? Everybody's going to leave. But then I'm like, yeah, what the fuck do I care? I'm not. Uh, now, do you do you work full time or is this what you do? I used to work full time. I'm about It's about to start back up again. So uh, with the whole covid thing, it was a mixture of quitting and being let go. It was I went I went away for a week and it was I came back and my buddy was like, hey, like all this is happening. And there's also they're talking about firing you. And I'm like, well, fuck that noise. I was miserable anyway. I'd already been there for years at this point and I hated yeah. it. And it was kind of the same scenario. It was like, why am I was talking to my wife and I'm like, why? I, I, I'm venting and I'm bitching because why are you even there? She goes, you're miserable. Just leave. Well, I make enough to support both it? of us. Uh, it was warehouse manager for a bathroom renovation company but basically yeah. i was by myself for eight hours of the day i do not thrive in that i like to talk to people every once in a while get that social interaction mm -hmm. and especially with all the covid stuff going on right there's just nobody at the office but like me and three other people who are on the other side of the building and so like yeah, yeah. at that point i'm just like i'm i'm so done i'm just out she goes let's just quit like we've done good we have a bunch in savings you don't have to worry about it and you can just like do whatever and we'll figure it out i'm like all right and i quit but you know with under the guise of that i was potentially being fired anyway so no harm no foul yeah. <laughs> no harm no foul on that one right and so yeah we I, I was like well i'll just try streaming full time i fucking hated it i uh, actually you know, full time is, is the worst so, like you have to get up and like you know i'm, I'm half awake and i'm like fuck it's like 
10 o'clock. I got to like start streaming at some point or I got to edit this YouTube video or I got to record this YouTube video. I got to perform. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to edit. I got to, I'm just like, I, I, I like doing it as like a side full time, like after the wife and kids are in bed and they're doing, you know, they're going to sleep thing. And then I'll be up doing whatever the hell I'm doing because during the day, all my time is for them. Especially right now, because I'm not working. I'm always home, right? So I'm always hanging out with the kids. My wife's working from home. So she's, you know, she's doing her work thing. And I'm going to Six Flags and going to water parks, which I know we're in quarantine or whatever. But, like, have two kids and then stay inside for months. It's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> They'll start losing their mind after a while. And so, yeah. So I, um, uh, I was going to. We had a bunch of savings, but then my dog had to have surgery. Oh, what? Wait, so why? We had this. <clears throat> he tore his ACL. <laughs> God, that sucks. Yeah, they opened it up and they were like, he was on, he was on his last ligament. Jesus. Like, if it would have torn, he would have been like, he would have been in immense pain. That's yeah. So that's... he's recovering right now full time. My wife, um, she's not working, but she's still getting paid because they, they just, she can't do it. So yeah, she. So we're like good. No, that, I mean, but, at least you're um, set with something. I'm still working like full. I'm still working full time. Oh, yeah, I was, too. I'm, but I'm working full time from from this room. I mean, that's that's at least you have the freedom to do that. I still had to go in the office every day. I had no I had no I had no choice. I still had to get yeah. stuff out the door. Right. And that that was partially soul sucking. Right. Because I'm watching the wife and kids literally go crazy since March. And here it is like May ish. <laughs> And they're already pulling their hair out. <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I got, I get, like, I can't even help here. And then yeah, all that happened. I'm like, oh yeah, that's good. And now my dad and I are actually going to be purchasing a business together and then running that. So soon I'll be gainfully employed again and making more money than I was. So we're on a better foot. This can go back to being a hobby thing. Like it's the Man, Twitch. You <laughs> just, you just went from like. A- you, you just you're just falling into silver spoons aren't you i mean honestly though like it, it, you know that saying that everything happens for a reason right like everything happens for a reason i i still hold true to that right <laughs> like if i didn't take time off i wouldn't realize that like this is fun it, but in the current point it's not sustainable and I, ca- I can't stream and make youtube for a living like i could if i was making yeah. if i was if the the return on investment was there it'd be worth it but it just is it's not where i was at especially with the wife and two kids and then my dad was like, he's been unemployed since March, I think, pretty much after it started, because he was working as a contractor for Delta. Imagine. <laughs> and then, oh yeah, so he's been wallowing in his own sorrow for the last, like, three months. And then I basically became gainfully unemployed. And he's like, well, let's just do something. Let's just figure this out. We can turn shit into lemonade. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's do it. Fuck it. <laughs> so... I mean, yeah, it kind of fell into my. Is it going to be? Uh, high end granite or high end countertops, basically. Natural rock. No, no, none of that synthetic shit. So you're already having a better clientele because if they're looking to spend the money, it's already close to a million dollars profitable after paying me and him a salary. So. And they're looking to get out, so they're they're. It's actually I haven't really talked about this that much, so it's actually funny I'm talking about it here instead of like on the stream. Like we kind of been talking a little bit about it, but not that much. And uh, yeah, so we're kind of walking into that easy growth opportunities too. That was the Why field I was in. To sell then, dude's old. He's like eighty two. Uh, He's like I want to retire, and his daughter in law doesn't want to keep running it. She doesn't want to keep doing it either. It's not her thing. So. That's gotcha. that's it, oh, it's that's really nice though. It's coming up bully right now. It should be done mid August, mid to late August, I think. So hopefully I'll be uh working again here soon. As long as everything goes through, which it sounds like it is. I mean, a lot of that's on my dad's side. Do you know a lot about the uh a lot about the the stone? That's that's Well, the, I guess you work for a bathroom renovation, so you've had to deal with it. You probably know a little bit about it. I, I know how to grow it right now. And it's rocks yeah, like yeah. it's 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 there's stuff to learn for sure there's always if you're not learning new things every day you're doing it wrong that's kind of how yeah. i try to live my life um so yeah there's obviously going to be learning in that because i don't i don't know the ins and outs of each different kind of rock or stone mm-hmm. but that's just information that's that's easy to retain my bringing to that is i have a shit ton of contacts in that field from what i was 
used to be doing from installers to customers to different customer bases to different reno shops and designers and things like that too so yeah if i were you i'd try to get into a contractor circuit see if you can get first look at all yes contracting jobs no for sure that's that's kind of the first push that's what we actually were talking about that my dad and i were talking about that last week He's like well what's the first thing that you think we should do i'm like well we need to be looking at that right because that's that's easy right there too he's like he's like yeah i mean that's i'm saying i'll handle all that just don't worry about it i'll handle all those meetings don't worry about that one i got yeah. that so it's gonna be an adventure and then still juggling this on the side we'll see what happens with with the stream i don't think it's gonna go away just because i've gotten to the point now to try to bring it back to content creation because we just kind of went in the me stuff which i try not to do because <laughs> mm-hmm. fuck me i'm the worst no, this uh, is this is this is what i do no like, i the thing is the thing that my that became really big about my stream is I am the kind of personality, and this has a lot to do with how I'm good at recruiting for reality TV. I like getting people talking about themselves. Oh, it's true. Because the more the more you learn about a person, the more you can really like get deeper into a conversation with them. Oh, it's hundred percent. I mean, especially if it's especially if it's about something like a really big thing in their life, like this. Oh yeah. Because like it's this is gonna this is probably gonna consume your life for a good couple months Mm -hmm. but thousand percent it will and the sad part is you sound very excited about it but it sounds like there's very limited places other than you know your partner your dad or anybody else that you can really talk about it it's true it sounds like you're really juiced about it but there's not many places that you can talk where people would are willing to listen and it's also it's also in that stage where a lot of it's like because he's fronting everything from all of his 401k stuff, which has done really well for him. He's even the first one to admit that. So he's like handling all the dealing with the lawyers and the CPAs and getting all the books in order and getting all the contracts in line and getting all the purchase agreements done. And so I'm kind of sitting here on my thumb going, okay, so like, when can I come in and do shit? He goes, well, I'm trying to, but there's really not a lot right now. Like we already have all the utilities and everything set up to transfer. Basically, uh, I have it all set up for the end of August. But obviously, we can move that date if that moves up or down a little bit. So it's just for me right now, it's a holding pattern. And it's like I'm juiced and I'm ready to go. But like, yeah, I mean, it's shit. You're right. I don't really have anybody to talk about that with other than like, <laughs> really, like the insular group so of people. And you're like vibrating. But there's like, you know, what are you going to do? Play video games and, and talk about this? Like, yeah, exactly. Like, how does that come up? Part is that they you're your relationship to the viewer is is very conditional Mm -hmm. it's It's conditional that you talk about what they want to talk about unless it's something you want to talk about but when it comes to like real stuff that really makes you juiced nope like they're not really gonna want to hear about it yeah they're there for for something else That's partially what burns you out is not being able to really be real with people nope man holy shit huh it's amazing because I, I don't know. It's it's the fascinating thing to watching with Twitch right now is is the growth of the just chatting right, and people that are just trying to do that and have that conversation. Like most just chatting, you will see you will not have <laughs> actual conversations. I don't call it just chatting. I call it just reacting, where all they do is just react to chat. So you'll see yeah. a person where they go, "Hey, all the way." from uh let's say hey all the way from ohio and you'll see them go oh you're from ohio i don't know much about ohio tell me about it are you from and what do you do there you're you're not like really chatting with people it's true reacting to things they are throwing at you or you're reacting to tv shows which that is probably going to end here very soon reacting to tv shows or like i was reacting to food but i used the food as a catalyst to ask people more about themselves no that's true i mean that's that's i mean i i've been trying to do that and just have like the game on in the background that's that's honestly it is something that i've even made like a video about and talked about a lot like chat to me is more important just because i want to like mm-hmm. have that one on it's not really one on one but like you know have that relationship where everybody knows what's going on in my what's going on with me what's going on with my kids what's going on with you know me and me and the wife you know what did we bicker about today uh and then you know the, they're also you know 
spilling their shit like i'm not gonna drop names but and anybody who's been in there knows but like it's kind of it was kind of a surreal experience when somebody's like hey man i don't know what to do like i just got a girl pregnant we're both still in high school and i'm like whoa you should not be asking me this question but i'll help the best i can (laughs) Like, I don't think butt juice is the one that's really gonna make this all better. <laughs> Yo, I, I I love you, dude. I, I I would give you my advice if it was me in this scenario. I never was. I was what twenty one, I think, it, and it was still. I don't like nobody's ready for kids. I don't think that's kind of what I've always. Nobody's ever like, <sighs> thirty, and I still don't have. A, I've been married for four years. I'm thirty. We don't we don't have a kid. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not, I, it's, I don't think anybody's ever ready. I think it's just, it's going to happen when it happens. I found out when I was in basic, <laughs> when I went and joined the Air Force, mm-hmm. and about three weeks in, I got a letter in the mail finally, because uh, they were holding all of our shit. And, and, and my sergeant was like, Benton. And I'm like, yeah, what's up? And I'm like, you're going to like this letter. And he threw it at me. And then I was like, what's that? And then we had to go do drills and shit like that for the next three hours. So I kind of read what it was. And then oh, yeah, no. that's how I found out. This, that's how I found out that we are. I was like, "Holy shit, this is crazy!" And like everybody was super stoked. I'm like, I, "Am I ready for this?" I'm like, "Well, I'll figure it out." <laughs> like, <laughs> like we'll figure it out. I guess I don't know. Like you don't, they don't. Nobody preps you for anything like that. But it's 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 interesting to, to build that one on one relationship with people in your chat that they're willing to like come to you first. It's a it's a surreal and bizarre experience that i think i enjoy but also it's like whoa that was left field i don't know how i feel about this <laughs> now what did you and the wife bicker about today what did we bicker about today uh i kept bothering her while she was working today and she said i have no idea why you don't want to talk to me first thing in the morning but now that i'm working and you're I'm like knees deep in some in some bullshit i have to take care of and now's the time you want to have a conversation about 90 day fiance <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, oh, man. I mean, it's on. And she says, yes, I know, but I'm not watching. I'm working. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll shut up then. What I bigger about with the wife today? Today, um, number one, um, I've been, like, hugging her and cuddling with her, but I've been doing it a little aggressively. There you go. And she, like, like I hugged her, but while I was hugging her, I accidentally jabbed my knee into her <laughs> knee, and I gave her a bruise. <laughs> and she's like she's like you gotta calm down you gotta chill because she's she's five foot like she's five foot exactly and i am almost a foot taller than her so she's oh geez she's very very tiny so she's like i'm you i have to be fragile like i have to treat me fragile (laughs) that's my wife's five three and i'm five eleven we're in the same boat (laughs) like you can't hug me like that what what else do we we did one more we did a one more and our we don't really bicker or argue that much we just sort of like we just sort of snip at each other a yeah. little bit we're just you know just married people stuff exactly we don't like full throat argue no 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 no. it's never a full throat argument it's like a really now and really now's what now's this is what you're doing today yeah, and i'm like, like yeah come on come on come <laughs> Or the new thing is when I get up real close and I'm like, I'm like, baby, come here, give me a hug. And she'll come give me a hug and I'll get real close and go. Mm. She's like, that's just <laughs> fucking weird. <laughs> oh, I do remember what I did today that pissed her off. See, there's so always our something. Dog is in a, our dog is in. A, okay, this is going to be a little risque for your podcast. No, you're good. <clears throat> My dog. I can't believe I'm going to say this. My dog's in like a pen, mm-hmm. like a little play pen. Yeah. And he has the cone and everything like that. He's an old dog. He's like an older dog. So he was sitting there. So I was just looking at him. He's just like this sad, pathetic sight. <laughs> so um, I, <laughs> I took my balls and I hung them over the play pen. And I just waved them at him. And she was upset saying I was taunting him. And I was like, I'm not taunting him. She's like, it's rude. You're being rude. I'm like, he doesn't understand. He doesn't know. He's, a do- He's just an old dog. <laughs> now, if you whipped out the peanut butter, that would be taunting. Yeah, no, we're not doing any of that, but... See, you thought you were risky. I'll take it up a notch. Don't worry. Don't worry. I was just, 
I was just waving my balls at my dog, and he was just very sadly. I love it. Being a sad old, he was just being a sad old dog, and, and, and she goes, "Why don't you go tweet this? I'm sure it'll go viral." I'm like, "No, I'm not tweeting. I'm not that. tweeting. I just wave my balls at my dog." <laughs> I'm like, this isn't going on Twitter. She goes, I'm sure everybody would agree it's so funny. This isn't Twitter material, but for the podcast. Uh, this is, I, I was not planning on telling anybody this. There we was, go. Yeah, Let's was, go. It was a little bit of an argument. There. There's the there's the gotcha moment. I got you. Just like we were talking about before. You got that. That's the gotcha <laughs> Streamer moment. Twitter gotcha. Let's go, baby. On Twitter. <laughs> exactly. That's the clip. We found it. This we found it, boys. A million views. <laughs> right. Hey. Like. And streamer butt juice soup waves balls at <laughs> waves dog. Waves balls at dog. <laughs> Oh man, holy shit, that's amazing. <laughs> I I low key love this. I was stressed because of work and I was bored and he was just being sad and old. <laughs> so here, here, take these. <laughs> Look at this buddy, and he was just like, why, why, why would anybody? I get that's broken me. I I how do you so this comes the awkward part of where do you transition from that? And you're like, good night, folks. So streamer Twitter. <laughs> That's our big show stopping end. <laughs> right? No shit. No fucking hey, man. Like honestly, honestly, I, I I get the burnout and I get why you quit. Man, it'd be killed. It would be killer to have you back just for shit like that, though. Like I honestly, know. dude, I would. I know everyone. I don't want to be the one to talk. I don't want to be the one. So many messages. I've been getting so many messages of everyone's like, we need you back now more than ever. And I'm like, you just got to understand that I'm not healthy. No. Like, did you not see all the things that I posted? Like, I was posting some really unhealthy shit before I left. I mean, but now. I'm not healthy. I'm not going to be the one to. I'm not going to say it. Like, it, it, uh, honestly, if you're happier now and you're in a better place, that's the more important thing. I will say that being on Twitch now is fucking weird with everybody currently being, you know, either banned or being accused of all of this or other bullshit no. going on. Like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. I, I left Twitch for. I left Twitch and Twitter for a week and. The Dr. Disrespect is mysteriously gone, and every fucking mainstream oh, Destiny no. streamer said, "Dude, why?" I, I, I'm gonna bring this. So I've made a pact. I'm gonna bring this up every podcast at this point that I do with a streamer. Is like, there is. I, I can't believe that it has been what two to three weeks, and we still have no idea. No idea. Nobody knows. I like honestly, this is the longest and best kept secret in streaming. It's fantastic. Honestly, this is I, I hate it because I want to know, but I love it because like holy shit, this is crazy. I just want my, me and my wife have different uh theories about it. Let's hear it. Wife's theory is that he was paid by a foreign government to spread misinformation. Really? Is that based off of all the clips so of him buying rocks about, and it's, it's stuff, it's, yeah, the, the Shungite and the 5G and stuff like that. Yeah. Plus also, um, he was spreading other misinformation that, so she says that he probably got paid to spread misinformation. So that was one, um, you know, sexual harassment claims have kind of died down on Twitter right now. Mm hmm. So, and also if it was a sexual harassment claim, like a really bad one, it would be out. Yeah, I, I it agree. Would be, it would be. I think it would be everywhere. I think somebody mentioned that this goes all the way up to Bezos, mm -hmm. and that would make the most sense to me because no one wants to get into that legal battle for sharing information. Nope, a thousand percent. So I think to me that makes the most sense. But we're just gonna. We're just going to have to wait and find out because there's just, there's, there's no, there's not even a crumb of That's anything. Just the only, the only thing you see is his, his last tweet. And then what his wife's Instagram post that she did, like thanking the community or whatever. Yeah. And that last like three minutes of his last stream. Did you, have you watched it? I a million times. That shit is 
probably, and I said this the last podcast, I'll continue to say, it's the most harrowing fucking thing that you could ever watch on a Twitch stream. Just like the look down, the instantaneous change, and then the the the, the end. And you're like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Something happened. It's nuts. Also, I mean, we're not going to talk about the fact that what, what was he watching at the time? The the Roblox. Yeah, the the Roblox hide and seek. Like, come on, that's that's on top of that. That's just like, huh? Okay, why Roblox hide be. and seek? <laughs> it's just fucking bizarre, dude. It blows I mean, somebody, me away. Somebody sent him it. Somebody sent him it. So he was just watching videos people were sending him. But yep, it's it was just it was harrowing, but it was also just like. It's conspiracy central. It's, it's, it's rife with conspiracy bait. And I hate, I hate, I, I hate conspiracy know. theories. But God, this is such a good. This is such a like. I'm this is a fun topic. Oh uh, no, no, no! Don't get me wrong. It's 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 the the the. I don't buy them. I find them fascinating, mm-hmm. especially uh, almost every one of them being based on this little crumb of information, like the. Like the Wayfair is is shepherding kids or trafficking kids all over the world. <laughs> Have you heard that one? Yeah. God, just, my wife believes in. I'm like, really? Stop it. <laughs> really? I was like, stop. Is your wife in the in the in the streamer verse? No, so, not not even close. Okay, I, I'm curious. I'm always curious with married people about that because like my wife hasn't doesn't she, understand it. She does not know about anything she doesn't know about anything when it comes to streaming she does not want to stream she streamed once and she mm-hmm. hated it that's fun so i brought the wife on for just one like, stream too and she goes i i get why you like and it she just couldn't stand it she and was she's just like, like I, I she was playing animal crossing and she's just like i just do not like it she texted me she, she was sitting right here she texted me she goes i fucking hate this i need to leave i'm like okay yeah <laughs> So I was like, all right, I guess we'll go back to doing what I do. Exactly. Exactly. Like, it's just, it's, it's interesting. The mentality in that as well. Like, were you like, as a kid, were you, an, were you an attention seeker? God, I can't talk today. Yes. Okay. I'm still an attention seeker. It's just now you're an attention seeker. That's worried about their mental. I now I'm just <laughs> smarter about it. Exactly. Screaming as a child. No, it's uh, like it, it's it's looking at the personalities of people who who are doing this. It's interesting to see who was the kid that was always looking for that for that dopamine hit of attention. All of us. Oh yeah, it's hundred percent. There's two types of people on Twitch: either people like grabbing for attention, or people that j- cannot really don't really have the social wherewithal to make friends outside of streaming. Expand on that. I've seen. Expand on that last one. You know, yeah. So a lot of I understand that meeting people in real life, looking at them face to face for many people can be hard. Mm -hmm. So it's just easier to be in an environment that you can control and talk about things that you want to talk about. Okay, that makes sense. You know, Uh, I've never been in a social setting and you're talking about um let's just say you guys are talking about 90 day fiance and you see that guy that just doesn't talk and he's just kind of itchy yeah he doesn't want to yep. be there those are people that usually go on twitch and they'll you know play a game and just talk with their community about the game talk what they want to talk about the other people on twitch are like you and me that are clawing for attention <laughs> just want it desire it crave it Need it. Cleveland, just need it. Yeah. Hate life if you're not getting it. <laughs> Wondering what's wrong with you if no, you don't. I, I, yeah. So, do you know how hard it is to walk away from it? No, I wanted. You to, have to really be burnt out to walk away from that's, it. That's that's kind of what the, I wanted to like get at least at the end note of it is like how was the walking away? How is not getting because hard? What makes it hard? What like <laughs> expand? It? What makes it hard? Because. I don't know if I could do it at this point. Like I probably could if I, I got like one, fucking done. Number but one, you have to realize you're disappointing your community and you have to be okay with it. Yeah. That's number one. Number two, you have to accept to yourself that you've done everything you can to avoid it. Mm-hmm. But this is just an inevitable reality. And number three, you got to be okay 
knowing that everything you have worked on in streaming will probably leave. Yeah. Because if you are not in the public zeitgeist for two weeks, uh, my last stream was about two, three weeks ago. Yep. If I started streaming today, maybe I'd get a, you know, maybe I'd get a huge bunch of people that are like, oh my God, but you soup is back. And then two days later, if I stream again, no one. Yeah. You'd have to basically so, rebuild. Restart and rebuild. Restart from scratch. And you have to be, you have to know that you'd be okay with it. And so what I'm doing right now is I need to work on my body because it's flabby and gross. I need to work on my mind because I haven't even been funny. I've been known by my family and my wife as the funny guy. Yeah. I haven't been fucking funny in ages. Because it, I'm just too burnt out to be funny. Is it coming? Is it starting to come back after two weeks? A little bit. I had my wife rolling today. I forgot why. You were talking about starting fire? Yes. The best. The only good conversations. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? It? And I, did like a, I did an impersonation of it. And she was laughing very, very hard. It's amazing. So, like, it's coming back a little bit. Well, at least, at least just, it's coming. When you, when you get burnt out, you become a different person. No, it's true. Like you start. I mean, you become a shell. How did when? How did you figure out that you were burnt out? Like, was it just like, did you dread hitting that go live, or are you miserable um, everywhere else? Uh, but you know, yeah, that was it for a while. Um, I'm also I have bad. I've been having bad stomach acid issues, mm -hmm. so I've been not healthy enough to stream, but still pushing my luck streaming. Yeah. Um, I see a therapist every single Thursday. He told me I'm burnt out. Um, my wife could tell she was just like, you're burnt out because she's seen me burnt out before, but she goes, you have to quit before it gets like ultimate worse and yeah. you don't come back from it. Yep. No, that makes sense. So, like, especially having everybody being like, Hey man, <laughs> I think you're done. I think you're tapped. Yeah. I, you know, you know what happened? I had a lot of community. And they saw I was burnt out and they saw I was pushing myself and they all left. Damn. Except for like one or two people, most of them left. Damn. And I was just streaming in front of no one. I feel that. No, that's, and I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't funny and I wasn't fun. And I just, I mailed it in and I was like, I'm ashamed of this. Mm. I was ashamed of it. Of the quitting or, or what you're okay of what you get what you're putting out of the, of the of the work i was putting in i mean I i'm very ashamed of it and that's when i was like it's 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 time to walk away yep time to be done i that's and i did but hey i mean if you're starting to get better and you're starting to feel better about it man that's that's honestly that's all at the end of the day you gotta take care of the people that are closest to you and yourself more than anything because the only person you have to live with forever is yourself. That's true. And I mean, I, I would I would love to say that you and your wife would be around forever, but I don't or my my wife would be around forever. I don't know what holds in 10 years. Right. But at the end of the day, I need to be OK with me. And and I think given what you've said basically here today and, and everything that that you have basically put out there, I think that you made the right call. And I think that a lot of people need to actually look and figure that out if they're at that point because i think there's a lot more people that are more burnt out than they want to imagine but they're trying to hold on to that 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 nugget of like but what if what if we get that hit and it's like dude you're you're sabotaging your relationships but the people that are closest to you right like my wife and kids and 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 your wife and yourself like you need to make sure that you're healthy and my dogs. He's, well, I mean, you just put the balls in the face and you're, you're good and over the fence. You'll be fine. Like it's easy. Good. I no, I was taunting him. It's okay. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but no, like, like honestly, like even, even here just in this last hour and change, like, I mean, I don't know. You're fucking funny as shit, man. I, I think that I think that you're you're you're. I think that you made the right call, especially if you're starting to get it back, just in general. And I think that it's better that you take yeah. care of yourself than anything else. And if you ever did decide to come back, I think that the core of your community would come back to 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 stay. 
and to and to come out and watch and see the old you come back out if you ever did you may never come back and i think that's okay i think it's a i think it, i think i think you're good i think you made the right call on this one man and i think it's it's super helpful for me to hear too because i've been at that point where i'm like i'm done and i walk away for a week or i'll walk away for two weeks i'll just be like i'm gonna go get my head right by <laughs> And just be done and then you know you kill everything and then now i'm at the point now i've stopped caring about everything i'm just gonna do me i want to do what i want to do if i have a stroke of genius amazing and i'm gonna be doing this shit anyway i'm gonna be playing games anyway i may as well look for that attention hit every once in a while <laughs> so that's the, that's kind of the that's way that I i've been on twitter yeah hey exactly honestly and your twitter's like your twitter's good like seriously, like really good. <laughs> I hate to juice you yeah, up, but I, it's been awful lately. Nah, I disagree. I, dis- I disagree. I respectfully disagree. I, re- I respectfully disagree. I like honestly, nah, like it's it's it hasn't been as good as it's been. I it, need to. It'll come. It'll do dude. It all. <laughs> it, it, I think, but that's all just blah, blah words. It all stems to that burnout period as well. You're still trying to put something else out there right and as you are more separated from this bullshit that'll come back in time and you'll be firing on all cylinders it'll all come back i just need to i I need to get healthy in my mind and my body and my soul i just need to like give it a deep wash but it all i mean and honestly it's it's a good thing you you should be taking care of yourself and and your close ones before anybody else that's all there is to it, man. That's 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 the moral of the story at the end of the day. Like I said, you'll be 80 years old. Do you think yeah. your community is going to still be around? No, but you and your wife will be. That's all that matters. You just got to take care of you, man. That's literally it. <laughs> I don't know how we went from balls over the gate to that, but... This is, this is what it's like talking to me. Hey, you no, know, I feel... He, we give them the yucks, then we give them the feels. I mean, it's true though. I mean, it's it's the dichotomy of people, and it's, it's a fascinating thing to watch, and 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 you see it. Twitch is a fascinating thing on its. The streaming medium is a fascinating thing on its own because you can get that right. And YouTube and Twitter and everything else, it's 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 curated. You're putting what you want out there in some sort of format. That's that's edited and curated right live streaming man it's like holy shit you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know what's gonna happen the next 20 minutes from now i'm gonna be going live after this i don't know what's gonna happen and i don't know how literally probably i'm gonna hit the end i'm probably gonna go kill myself with a cigarette uh i'll probably hit the go live and then go kill myself with another cigarette because it's just the ritual i stopped smoking and driving in cars like 10 years ago and i had to find a way to incorporate some sort of systematic smoking period in there especially now that i'm not working so now it's always before i go live so like when you dm me saying i'm ready i was outside because i was already doing the ritual it has to happen oh shit. before yeah, I, bef- I before i do the, before i talk for an extended period of time i need to go and get the fix and it's it's always been that way so but like the streaming is a medium it's just a fascinating thing right because yeah you don't know what's gonna happen yeah. you don't know I could. I, it's it's like when swatting was a huge thing, right? Like I bet those kids didn't expect that they were gonna get fucking get the SWAT team busting out their door and and raiding their house because somebody called on them, right? It's 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 such a weird concept when you when you want to put streaming as a medium up there with like anything else, even TV and, and movies, right? It's all it's all edited or pre written, pre scheduled, pre pre produced, ready to go. It, with the streaming you get, effort this is just like straight you yeah it, you're just you're putting you out there and like however you want to portray yourself right you can do it with just real talk like you know what i've always tried to do or you could be like dr disrespect who i mean rip but had the whole persona going you could just be xqc with his with his gangly ass fucking extended the town of fucking juice and you know it's 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 a whole thing. It's a fascinating concept to think about. I never understood Twitch until I started streaming. And now, honestly, it's like I'll sit here and just do case studies to myself on on different streamers. Like what 
yeah. makes them tick. It's just a fascinating thing. But what you want to put out there on this medium. I mean, and that's what makes it so that's what makes it so endearing and so like addicting nope. is knowing the person and just wanting to see them in different situations of person like see them react. See what's gonna happen. Yeah, exactly. See see how they're gonna react. What happens if this happens or what happens if Hey, I'm a, I, I'm a donate a thousand dollars. How are they going to react? That's why you see like on Twitter, people crying whenever they get a huge donation. Who me? (laughs) No. Oh, (laughs) that's something he does. No, but it's, it's, but it's true. Right. I mean, you see that all over the, like, Oh my God, I can't believe we hit 5 million subs. But that's like, that's the, that hopefully you would like to think. That's what's put out there. That's the real shit that's being put out, right? It cannot be. I can't tell you. I can tell you what I I do is real, and like you can tell authenticity when you see it. Mostly, I'm not gonna say always. But I don't know, man. Streaming is just such a fascinating thing, and it's it's interesting to talk to people on all sides of it, right? People who are just starting, people who are, you know, making the shit tons of cash that everybody's like that everybody's always striven for and doing it full time and then there's then there's you know the people that the real people that are like well fuck dude like i'm burnt like honestly yeah. talking to you has been probably the most growing conversation i've done and i've had i've had some really cool ones and some honestly some dream fulfilling ones like uh talking to disaster piece who who produced the music for hyper late drifter and fez that's my, that was my personal goal, and I can't believe you said yes. But this honestly has probably helped me the most as somebody who's trying to make stuff and as a person, honestly. Between the taunting. Your dream was never to talk to Bud Juice Soup. My dream is always to talk to Bud Juice Soup now. <laughs> if, I, if I could get you to, if I could just get you to just talk, fuck, dude, we'd be talking all the time. All the time. I, I love my Bud Juice Soup now even more real now that i've i've spoken to the man the myth i like i like how you're uh, i like how you've uh stopped being on twitch and you're wearing the twitch shirt <laughs> <laughs> i still own clothing <laughs> just just pointing out the slight irony in this one Ever, everyone thinks when you finish streaming that means you're against twitch like no I'm still there i still give subs to my friends like Imagine. I still enjoy the platform. I just like I didn't die. <laughs> that's how, I, I mean, I'm sure that's how mixture streamers felt to too. Stream anymore. I just think I it, it's still wear the clothing. I still stream for two years. Fair. I, uh, fair. Okay. 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 Are you gonna go to TwitchCon next? Saying? TwitchCon. Yes, I will <laughs> keep going to TwitchCon. Real? Oh, hell yeah! I'm down. I, I've never been, so yeah, like I mean, TwitchCon is not just for streamers; it's for community members as well. I was gonna go. I was gonna go last year, but like I was like, eh, I mean, I, it wasn't the right Let time and place. Tell you about TwitchCon, I got. Let me tell you some stories. All right, let's hear it. Let's hear it. I got. I was. I was next to partners, like big Twitch streamers and everything. And whenever anybody would come up to us. They would always ask me for a picture. They knew me immediately. And that is because with, with social media, Mm -hmm. nobody really knows people individually from their stream. They just know clips of them from Twitter clips of them from YouTube, stuff like that. Because I had a bigger presence on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I was more well known at TwitchCon. That actually makes a shit ton of sense. Recognize me. That. Okay, that actually, when you think about it, makes a shit ton of sense. I was gonna go this year, man. Like, I was. No, but I could, I could ask them like, name one thing from my stream, and they're like, I don't know. I don't know. Your stream, but then I, I would ask them, what's your favorite tweet of mine? I love it when you did the dance. I love it when you talk to your dog. I yeah. love it when you tweet about your wife. They know <laughs> my content. They just have never seen my stream. They just never watched it. Uh, th- I, honestly, mm-hmm. I mean that does make sense. I, I love it, dude. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna get together at TwitchCon then. Next time that there is one, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll fuck it if, uh, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, woo! So <laughs> we won't tell the wives. I won't tell mine anyway. <laughs> we won't tell the wives. <laughs> well, I always, I always joke. I go like when I left Twitch, I go. My only regret is never going to the partner orgy. <laughs> 
My only regret is never going to the partner orgy. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. There's not, obviously, there's not one this year. Do you think there's going to be one next year? 2021 TwitchCon? Yeah, there's going to be one. Yeah, yeah. Right. I think everything, uh, once the, once, <laughs> I think social distancing and, and a lot of this stuff isn't going away anytime soon. No. But also, I think that um, once, uh, once all the vaccines start coming out, a um, little bit of normalcy will happen. Uh, do I think everything will be fine next September, uh, September, October? Do I look like a doctor? Hey, maybe. <laughs> I have no I'm, clue. I, I would take your word but, for it. Um, I think. I think relatively, um, it should be. It should be good enough. I have it from the the uh, PhD, uh, Mister But Doctor But Soup that Doctor But <laughs> we will be okay, sir. So, dude, this is honestly like I told you, it's been literally probably one of the favorite things I've ever recorded. Dream and come true, dream come true. Actually, pretty close, pretty good, pretty oh. good. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, don't sweet talk me. Too late. I'm I'm sweet talking. I look, look, hey, if we're fucking at TwitchCon, like I gotta at least juicy up a little bit. <laughs> if we're fucking at TwitchCon, I want you to know you're my hero before. There we go. Mission accomplished. Like, listen, I may be your hero, but that doesn't mean you can look me in the eye. So where can people find you at, man? Twitter. Just Twitter now. Twitter.com slash Yeah, that's, I mean, <laughs> if you want, I'm going to post to YouTube maybe occasionally. Yeah. I'm Butch you Soup on everything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a podcast that I've not done anything for in a while. It's called Nothing But Juice. The last thing I did was um, I did a tier list for fast food. <laughs> Um, <laughs> just fucking fucking Twitter. What? <laughs> just do you th- my tweets. Everybody should like my tweets. Do you think that that would actually be a healthier medium? Is to just go straight podcasting? I <sighs> podcasting itself is also a lot of work. I'm just tired with it. All. I feel okay. I feel. Should, like- I, should I make more podcasts? Probably. I, I, I just right now I'm just trying to recover. No, I'll, totally. I'm sure I'll find something eventually. I, I a right thousand now, percent I just no content except for Twitter. I a thousand percent think you will come back to something. You have it. I, yeah. you, you have it. You you have that. Uh, what's the, you have that je ne sais quoi because it's not really a definable quoi. thing, right? You have that. You have that. God, what what the hell? You have I'm the personality. You have I the need <laughs> attention. I will rip all people's faces for attention. That, that you said it better than I ever right. could. That is that is what I will do. Yes, well, I will be back at some point. Probably, I need attention <laughs> for sure. But as of right now, I can't even think straight. I can barely sleep. Like I, I'm like crying. Like I just need to like chill the hell out. You know. Well, if you need help chilling, man. Uh, you can always reach out, dude. I got you, no matter what. Yeah, thousand percent. And and I would love to chat with you again sometime, whether it be recorded or just talking. Yeah, sure. Because you've been you've been you honestly to, you know where I am healthy for anywhere. me. You've been healthy for me anyway. So, dude, very much. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. A thousand percent. Thank you. And I am. Thank you, guys for uh listening and watching this podcast depending on the medium that you're looking at it on please once again don't forget to give this channel a sub on youtube uh if you're listening on podcast feeds please give us give us a review that definitely helps us in the algorithms helps find new people helps find new potential guests as well so definitely go give that a check out as well uh go follow the twitch channel at twitch.tv slash tv we do stream almost every day except for friday starting at 8 p.m eastern uh mix it between valorant and some other stuff as well and yeah go check out the youtube go check out the twitch go leave us podcast review we will read all five stars at the end of every episode if we have any and thank you all for listening have a fantastic rest of your day Bye bye